In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, I bear witness there is no God but God, and God is the only one who has the right to be worshipped. I also bear witness that Prophet Moses and Prophet Jesus and Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, are the messengers of God, and I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected Satan. So I've got an excellent video for you all today. We're going to be discussing about the nature of God to give us uh, the proper uh, foundation so we can grow and ascend uh, more vibrantly and, and more and higher and higher, inshallah. We're going to be discussing uh, the importance of Imam Ali Mashiach and all this, and we're going to be discussing a bit about the Schumann Resonance. So in my last video, uh, we did a test with the Schumann Resonance. Um, I wanted to illustrate to you that the embodiment of divine laws and commandments of the Most High, the Creator of all that exists, uh, embodying these truths and wisdoms within our souls, within our bodies, in our DNA, this will help uh, raise the life force of the earth, which helps raise our own life, obviously first raise our own life force, which is more light codes from God coming into this creation which elevates the earth, which elevates uh, all the creatures and beings on this planet. So I just want to thank you all. Uh, we did raise the frequency quite high, higher than it has been in several months. Um, it was going off the charts at some point. It was steadily spiking for approximately three days. Um, the uh, spiritual community was very excited. They were... Uh, enjoying these uh, spiritual energies. I uh, heard from one individual who has a gift of dowsing uh, energies and he referred to it as uh, heaven on earth. So this is the point of what I do. I'm trying to help lay the groundwork for Imam Mehdi the Mashiach and uh, soon after Imam Mehdi the Mashiach will come, soon uh, Jesus the, Mash uh, the Mashiach will come as well, the son of Mary. And I'm just help, trying to help lay the groundwork, help people ascend higher and higher, getting people the proper truth and wisdom as we live in a world full of deception. So that is the points of these videos and um, they're very highly advanced. Um, so just as a quick disclaimer, uh, try to look at these with an, uh, an empty cup. Uh, try not to uh, get locked into tradition and you know, and not, not all knowledge is in one book, that knowledge is vast. Um, you know, obviously the Quran and Torah, uh, from my personal experience and from my knowledge that they are the most, um, have the most truth and wisdom within, as obviously they were channeled by uh, prophets and messengers from the Most High. So, uh, understand what is going on, to understand where we are, we, where we're from who we are, what we're doing here. So some of the problems I see in the spiritual community as well as the religious communities is that uh, they don't uh, see things as they should see them. Um, and what I mean by that um, is that they give their uh, they have the wrong, let's put it this way, they, put, they have the wrong belief. They don't have the proper foundation. Now, a lot of people in the monotheist religions and spiritual communities, uh, they've got part of the answer, but there's still parts of them that need work on their beliefs. And, and so, and as well as me, I'm always trying to hone my belief system to be more in line in truth and wisdom. So, what is the formula for ascension? The formula of ascension is uh, truth and wisdom plus embodiment equals ascension. Truth and wisdom plus embodiment equals ascension. So, as Allah says in chapter... In 39 verse 5, he created the heavens and the earth to suit the requirements of truth and wisdom. So when we embody truth and wisdom, this uh, increases uh, our light, this is, increases our uh, awareness, increases our consciousness, and this helps us ascend and uh, evolve higher and um, gets us closer to our 
the creator, the unique creator of all that exists, prime creator, Hashem, Allah, uh, source, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with, um, as long as you understand that God is, God is, we, God is one. That is the basis of uh, knowledge, that it should be your foundation, is that God is one. God does not have, uh, have partners uh, in his creation, that God has full and control, uh, perfect control of everything within creation, and, all, and Allah does no injustice to no one, ever. So it's very important for us to understand that. And the, and the next phase is to understand that God is all around us, the essence of God, not the full embodiment of God, but the essence of God, the sparks of God, uh, the light rays of God, um, are all around us. Um, the power of God is all around us. Uh, God is unlimited power. God is unlimited knowledge. Um, God is so many things um, that is beyond our, our, our conscious uh, understanding. What God is cannot be uh, spoken in words, but can be understood in metaphors and uh, symbology, etc. So, when I say the essence of God is all around us, that, that is symbolic. How it works, all the intricacies, uh, I don't have the full knowledge of that, but I can feel the presence of God all around me. I f when I say I feel like I'm in the womb of God, because it, I don't mean that literally, I mean that uh, symbolically, that I feel the nurturing of God, like I'm inside of God, that's how I feel. Uh, that's what I experience, that's what I understand. And I've got my brother Jesus to help support me in that. As in the Gospels of Thomas, Jesus said, Those who seek should not stop seeking until they find. When they find, they will be disturbed. When they are disturbed, they will marvel, and they will rule over the all. Jesus said, If your leaders say to you, Look, the Father's imperial rule is in the sky, then the birds in the sky will precede you. If it is in the sea, then the fish will precede you. Rather, the Father's imperial rule is inside you and outside of you. So this is it. The Father, the Creator, Hashem, Allah, uh, a prime creator, source. Jesus is saying, He is inside of you and outside of you, that we are within God. God is within us and outside of us. Then you will be known and you will understand that you are the children of the living Father. But if you do not know yourselves, then you will live in poverty. And you are that poverty. So this is, this is the foundation that we all need. If we don't have this proper foundation, then everything else uh, will be... Uh, a wrong belief in some degree or another. This is the ultimate foundation that God is one and that he is within us and also all around us in, in his essence. So Jesus goes to say that if you look to your leaders and say that the uh, sky, um, that the Father's imperial rule is in the sky, so uh, astrologers etc think that planets rule over them and uh, people believe that the political system uh, the, the governments uh, have rule over them um, the light the spiritual community thinks that uh, uh, like certain numbers like 1111 uh, portal etc has some sort of rule over them then they're giving their power away. They are, they are, their belief is in poverty, and they will experience that poverty. They won't experience that God is the ultimate source and power of everything. God is all around us. God created everything and sustaining everything. So this is what Jesus is really trying to hit home uh, to help us understand. You know, the Christians take Jesus as a God, so... Uh, human flesh will proceed over them. They will not have the, the rule over the all. They will not know themselves because 
they don't they're blind to the truth that God is one and God encompasses everything that we're all within God so it's a very a very vital thing to understand so I see a lot of astrologers say because of Mercury retrograde that this is gonna happen and that's gonna happen or good or bad omens are gonna occur because of different positions of planets or you know the Schumann resonance is going up because of electrical strikes or going up because of uh, solar activity or going up uh, because of um, I don't know uh, different numbers of the year uh, all sorts of weird stuff that people come up with uh, but they don't understand that God is the one in control of everything. It doesn't matter what position, whatever planet it is in this retrograde or whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You have to understand that the truth of reality, that God is one and it has power and control over everything. Now, obviously, there's the things have different influences. Like if there's a beautiful tree outside or beautiful flowers, that's going to have an influence on me. If, if there were no beautiful flowers outside, then I wouldn't have that influence. Obviously, planets and suns and things have certain influence, but they don't uh, proceed over me. They don't rule over me. The governments of this world do not rule over me. The um, uh, you know different numbers like today's um, that I'm filming this is on November 11th, so a lot of spiritual community is saying. Uh, that there's some sort of portal day today and uh, certain things are going to happen today because it's 11-11. Like, this is nonsense. This is absolute nonsense. Um, and has no bearing in reality. Uh, you've got, uh, I hear some, not all Muslims, but some Muslims say how great uh, democracy is. And uh, they think that it is... Um, it's democracy is Islamic when it's the furthest thing from being Islamic. It's um, I got here. Uh, uh, in chapter six, verse one hundred and sixteen, obeying the majority of those on earth would lead you astray from Allah's way. So democracy is majority rule. Uh, majority on earth follow nothing but mere surmise and make conjectures. And will lead you away from the way of Allah. So by putting your power, you believe that democracy is great and uh, governments of this world are great. That don't they they judge and make laws and commandments according to their low desires and whims. They are very unjust for doing so because only Allah has a right to judge, and we should judge according to what God. Uh, deems us how to judge and through his laws and commandments and we see the corruption in this world you've got Jews who think not all Jews but some Jews think that because of their lineage uh, they are superior so they're not looking at the big picture they're thinking because their lineage lineage they have some sort of superiority uh, complex and then their their lineage and genetics precede them um, they don't understand that the power of uh, God. Uh, they don't understand. It's a it's a form. These are all f are, are are slight forms of disbelief. Uh, these types of things. So I just want to make that very clear. Um, also, Allah says in the Quran in chapter fifty, verse sixteen, uh, He uh, we created a human being, and we know what His soul whispers to Him. We are nearer to him than even his juggler vain. So Allah says in the Quran, he is nearer to us than our own juggler vain, and he knows the whispers in our minds, what whispers that go on. Uh, he, he's closer. He knows us better than we even know ourselves. So um, very important thing to understand. So how is Imam Mahdi the Mashiach? in all this uh, he is prophesied to help bring uh, justice back to this world uh, remove the, the falsehood through means of the truth as falsehood is designed to be uh, vanished away by the truth as the law says uh, in the Quran not exactly but uh, along those lines 
that Imam Ali and the Mashiach will help restore uh, this earth back to truth, back to uh, back to God. Um, so Imam Ali and the Mashiach is very important. All this uh, ascension, uh, I believe, would not be fulfilled if it wasn't for Imam Ali and the Mashiach. And soon after Imam Ali and the Mashiach, Jesus, uh, the Mashiach, will also. Uh, son of Mary will also uh, enter onto the scene. Uh, he is prophesied to descend back to us in the authentic hadiths, inshallah. So, as I said, I'm just laying the groundwork f uh, f for these uh, two individuals and also for uh, people at large. Uh, you know, I'm just, I don't want to live in a, in a dark world. I want to live in I want to live in paradise I want to live uh, heaven on earth uh, I want to live in joy and happiness um, the way that this world is run they want to they want it is almost as dark as they can get it um, and uh, I'm just not going to stand for it so these are the reasons why I make these videos um, so we don't enter into darkness as Allah gives us some ideas how to us uh, gives us some uh, Ascension tips as he says here in in chapter 90 verses 12 through 11 and what would make you know What the uphill path of steep and difficult ascent is it is the freeing of a captive from slavery debt and other afflictions so uh, You know we, we live in a debt slavery system the monetary system is a, is a debt slavery system You know Imam and Mashiach is going to help us get out of that um, other afflictions, uh, you know, healing people, uh, bringing the spirits of people, even a quick, even a smile of someone um, uh, is a way of ascending. Uh, the freeing, uh, sorry, the feeding in the time of famine, if there's hungry people, orphans, or near of kin, uh, the down, downtrodden poor person uh, feeding people um, that are hungry. And what is uh, even more than it is of those who believe and encourage one another uh, to be patiently persevering and encourage one another uh, to be compassionate. So be compassionate, be patient, um, you know, be a patient in this ascension process. It's, it's not going to happen overnight. It's a step by step. We're going to evolve and grow and uh, ascend uh, uh, gradually. Um, and Allah says, uh, these are the blessed ones, but those who deny our messages are the wretched ones. So uh, we know that to be true. Uh, I definitely know uh, when I went to court and the judicial system here in Canada, uh, they were so wretched uh, they didn't let me speak divine laws and commandments to them. They stopped me, uh, interrupted me, and did all sorts of uh, things to um, uh, deny these truths. So, uh, as the law says in chapter 5, verse 45, whoever does not judge according to the laws which Allah has revealed, it is these who are the very unjust. So, we know that all the, uh, virtually all the uh, laws that are in our, our governments of this world are, uh, they are not according to divine laws and commandments of the Most High, so automatically makes them very unjust as we see what's going on in the world. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of uh, deception in this world. So, uh, the Schumann resonance. Um, let's get back to that. So we're going to try to uh, raise the Schumann resonance again. So I hope you can uh, help me in this. I'm going to read out some divine laws and commandments. And uh, we'll see what kind of results will happen again, inshallah. Just to illustrate the truth, uh, I'm not doing this to show off or anything like that. I'm just doing this to illustrate the truth because I get tired of hearing the falsehoods all day long. That it's electrical strikes, that it's, uh, you know, because we're in the 11-11 uh, portal day because of some numbers. You know, if you think the numbers have power over you, then those numbers will precede you. Obviously every number has frequency, everything around us is emanating a certain type of uh, energy around us, but these are just influential energies. These are not written in stone or anything. And uh, to have a, a strong spiritual day does not require to fall on a certain day or to uh, ascend really high uh, 
uh, has nothing to do with what positions the sun is, if it's a full moon, if it's a half moon, if it's, uh, you know, uh, the positions of the, uh, of, the, of the planets are aligning. This, this is irrelevant. The truth is that God is in full control of everything. God is all around us, within us, and without us. The creator of the universe has full and perfect control of everything and does injustice to no one ever. Very important for us to understand. So we're going to go into these divine laws and commandments. I'm just going to read them out. Um, if you will, try to embody them. Uh, let them fill your heart. Let them fill your soul. Uh, embody them. Try to live them. Um, and we're going to see you get some Schumann resonance spikes. So, I purposely uh, did not do so much studying uh, in the last couple of days, so the Shuan Resonance has been quiet. Um, the, sh the spiritual community has been buzzing around 1111 portals, so just to teach them a lesson, um, I kind of slowed back my learning. So I could lower the, the Shuan Resonance down a little bit, just to show that 1111 has nothing to do uh, with anything, uh, really. So let's get into it, and I hope um, you uh, embody these with me um, and see the results in the Schumann Resonance. I will leave a link again in the Schumann Resonance in the description box below. And let's see what we can do. Let's see how high we can get at this time. Um, I'm going to up my uh, uh, I'm going to up my learning as well. I'm going to do a little bit more researching, embody it a little bit more. Um, so, and I'm going to uplist, upload this video at the end of uh, November 11th, 1111. 11. Uh, so it'll probably start peaking at the end of the day, possibly, or into, into tomorrow, inshallah. So, um, let's see what we can do, and um, let's learn and grow and ascend together. So, Allah says uh, in chapter 39, verse 7, Allah does not approve of His people to be ungrateful, approves of you being grateful. No soul that bears a burden can bear the sin of another. Allah will inform you of all things you have been doing when you return. Allah knows the most innermost secrets of the heart. Chapter 39 verse 10, Take Allah as your shield, reward for good deeds. The earth is vast and spacious for those who are persecuted. Certainly, the patiently persevering and steadfast rewards are beyond measure. Chapter 39, verse 11 through 12. We are ordered to worship Allah, sincere to Him alone in obedience, surrendered to Allah's will. Chapter 39, verse 20. Protection from Allah, taking Allah as your shield, leads to paradise. Allah never fails in His promise. 39, verse 22. Woe to those whose hearts are hardened against the remembrance of Allah. 41 verse 53, Allah will show signs to these disbelievers for their guidance, even in remote regions. Qur'an is the lasting truth manifest to them. Allah watches over everything. 41 verse 54, disbelievers doubt the meeting with their Lord. Allah encompasses everything in His knowledge and power. 42 verse 6, those who take patrons apart from Allah, Allah is watchful over them. Allah records their deeds, a proof against them, not response, and we are not responsible for their affairs. Whatever your differences, the ultimate decisions rest with Allah. Put your trust in Allah. Turn to Allah seeking His mercy. 42 verse 13, Ordain the same course of faith as Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, the same course. Do not differ in religion and form sex. To establish obedience to Allah, which Imam Mahdi Mashiach and Jesus the Mashiach, uh, son of Mary, will do, inshallah, establish the obedience to Allah on this earth. Allah guides and draws to him who he wills. Verse 40, uh, chapter 42, verse 51. Allah speaks to human beings by direct revelation or from behind a veil or by sending a messenger, an angel, to reveal his command and what Allah pleases. Allah is the most sublime, all wise. Nobody has the means to overhear Allah. And if you say you do, bring forth a clear authoritative proof. Okay. 
Chapter 21, verse 105. My servants with the right capacity to rule shall inherit the land. It is not permissible, chapter 21, verse 95, it is not permissible to the people of a township whom we have destroyed to come back to life of this world. Chapter 23, verse 32. Worship a law without partners and to guard against evil deeds. This is... Um, this is said by Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Chapter 24, verse 44. Allah sets the cycle of night and day. 30, verse 30. Full-hearted attention and devotion to faith turn away from all that is false. Faith suits the nature and requirements of mankind. There can be no change in the nature which Allah has made. Human souls are like one single soul. 33, verse 36. It does not behove a believing man or woman to exercise an option in their affairs after Allah and his messenger have decided the matter. Those who disobey Allah and his messenger surely stray far away in clear error. Chapter 33, verse 3. Put your trust in Allah. Allah is sufficient as a disposer of affairs. Chapter 33, verse 62. You will find no change in the way of Allah. 33, verse 72, verse 73. Allah has presented the trust, laws, and commandments to the heavens and the earth, and they refuse to prove false to it. But human beings prove false to it, violating divine law, with the result that Allah will punish the hypocritical men and women and the, hypo and the polytheist men and women. Chapter 34, verse 21. Though he ablees, the devil has no authority over the people. Chapter 34, verse 25. People will not be accountable for, the, for other people's sins. People will not be accountable for other people's sins. Chapter 34, verse 48. Allah will do away with falsehood by means of the truth. Allah is thoroughly aware of the hidden realities. Chapter 35, verse 6. Satan is an enemy to you, so treat him as an enemy. Following Satan results that they shall become the inmates of the blazing fire. Chapter 35, verse 8. Law of Guidance. Allah forsakes him who wishes to go astray, and guides him who wishes guidance. Do not fret yourself because of them, the misguided ones. 35, verse, chapter 35, verse 45. If Allah took the task of every little evil people would do, he would not leave on the surface of the earth a sing single living creature. Allah's law of mercy, but he grants them all respite till an appointed term. Allah deals with his creation according to the nature of their deeds, the law of cause and effect. Chapter 36, verse 11. You can only warn those who follow the reminder in the Quran and are full of reverential awe of the most gracious in the hearts of hearts. Give glad tidings of protection and honorable precision, provision. So Allah is saying, if you believe in the reminder of the Quran, you have glad tidings of protection and an honorable provision. 36 verse 82. His commands, his command, when he intends to evolve a thing, he says it be, and it comes into being in its proper time. 36 verse 83. Glory be to Allah. Allah has perfect control of everything. To him shall you all return. Verily your God is one. Chapter 37 verse 4. Chapter 39 verse 2. The Quran has the Quran was revealed establishing the truth to suit the requirements of truth and wisdom. Worship Allah alone, being truly sincere to him in obedience. Chapter 2 verse 1. 73. Forbidden to eat animals which dies of itself, the blood, meat of pig, and other animals which the name other than Allah was invoked. The above animals can be eaten without sin if needed for bare necessity. Chapter 2, verse 70, 172. Eat good and pure things and render thanks to Allah if you really worship Him alone. Chapter 2, verse 179, Your life lies in the law of equitable retaliation. 
so that you may enjoy security. This is a very important one to understand. Your life lies in the law of equitable retaliation so that you may enjoy security. So chapter 4, verse 95. Such believers who stay at home except the disabled ones are those who strive in the cause of Allah with their substance and their lives. They are not equal. Allah has exalted in rank those who strive in His cause with their substance and their lives above those who stay at home with greater reward. Yet to each one Allah has promised good. So there's good to both, but those who go out and strive for the a uh, cause of God uh, with their finances, um, with their uh, with their lives, uh, receive a higher rank. They'll both still receive goodness from God. Um, chapter four, 4, verse 135. O you who believe, be strict observers of justice, bearers of true evidence for the sake of Allah, even though against yourselves, parents, or near of kin, or be rich or poor. Do not follow your low desires in order to be able to do justice. If you distort or evade true evidence, remember the law is well aware of what you do. Chapter 4, verse 136. O you who believe, maintain faith in Allah and in his messenger and in his perfect book, which he has revealed to you in this perfect uh, revealed to you his perfect messenger and in the scripture he revealed before you. Tell, chapter 4, verse 138, tell the hypocrites clearly that a woeful punishment awaits them. For the children of Israel, he who kills a human being, unless it be for the murdering of a person, or the reforming disorder in the country, it is as if he has killed the entire human race. And whoso saves a human life, it is as if he has saved the entire mankind. Chapter 5, verse 44. Torah, wherein there is guidance and light, hold not people in awe, but stand in awe of Allah. Do not barter away my messages for a trifling gain. Who does not judge according to that law which Allah has revealed? It is these who are the real disbelievers. So chapter 5, verse 42. Habitual listeners to falsehood and eaters of forbidden things come to you for judgment. Judge between them or turn aside from them. If you turn aside from them, they shall not do you harm. But if you judge between them, judge with them with justice. Surely Allah loves the just. Chapter 5, verse 43, Torah, which contains the law of Allah. Those who turn their backs on divine judgment are neither true believers in the Quran nor the Torah. Chapter 5, verse 45, we laid down the following law for them, the Jews. Life for life, eye for eye, nose for nose, and ear for ear, tooth for tooth, and for other injuries, and equitable retaliation. But he who chooses to forgive for the sake of Allah, it shall be an expiation of his sins for him. Whoever does not judge according to the law which Allah has revealed, it is these who are the very unjust. So Allah prescribes uh, the law of equitable retaliation. If you murder somebody, um, the, the equitable if you murder somebody unjustly, uh, the, the equitable retaliation is the death upon that person. Um, but if the person forgives that person then that'll be an expiation of his own sins. So it's always best to forgive. Chapter 5, verse 46. Jesus, son of Mary, fulfilling Torah, and we gave him the evangel, which contains guidance and light. Torah, a means of guidance and an exhortation for those who guard against evil. Chapter 5, verse 47. Let the followers of the evangel judge according to what Allah has revealed therein. 
Indeed, those who do not judge according to what Allah has revealed, it is these who are the real disobedient. Chapter 5, verse 48. Judge between them according to that which Allah has revealed, the Torah, Quran, and Evangel. Do not deviate from the truth that has come to you in order to follow their low desires. So, as I said before, Imam al-Mashiach will judge the uh, Jews according to the Torah, the Muslims according to the Quran, and the uh, the Christians according to the Evangel, which is the Gospels of Jesus, which also include the Torah. Uh, chapter 5, verse 89. Allah will not account oaths that are in vain, but Allah will account for the breaking of oaths that you take in earnest for doing or not doing a thing. The expiation for breaking such an oath is the feeding of ten needy persons, the average food you'd feed your family with, or provide them with clothes or liberating of someone from the yoke of slavery or debt. But whoever does not find, then he shall fast for three uh, whoever does not find, then he shall fast for three days. Guard your oaths. So it's important to do what you say. Chapter 26, verse 227, those who believe and do deeds of righteousness and mention the greatness of Allah over and over again and who only retaliate only after they are done injustice to. Uh, those who act unjustly will soon know what end they are heading for. So Allah is giving glad tidings for those people who do deeds of righteousness, mention the greatness of Allah over and over again and only retaliate after they have been done injustice to. Chapter 6, verse 54. When those who believe in our messages come to you, say, Peace be upon you. Your Lord has taken upon himself the rule of mercy. So whoso from among you commits evil through lack of knowledge, then turns back to Allah thereafter and mends his ways, then he is forgiven by Allah the ever-merciful. Chapter 7, verse 29. Allah has ordained to be equitable. Keep your attention upright towards Him always in every prayer. Call upon Him exclusively, bearing true faith in Him. Remember, therefore, the favors of Allah. Do not commit mischief in the land, acting as creators of disorder. Chapter uh, 48, verse 26. Uh, Allah granted peace and tranquility because uh, to these people because uh, Allah made the messenger and the believers observe closely and firmly to the code of self-restraint. Allah has full knowledge of everything. Allah sent His Messenger with guidance and the true faith so that it may help it prevail over all other faiths. Allah is sufficient to be Allah is sufficient to bear witness. Chapter 42, verse 36. A much better and more lasting word for those who believe and put their trust in Allah. Lasting word for Lasting reward for those who avoid the more grievous sins and acts of indecency and who forgive when their anger is aroused. Lasting reward for those who, when they meet wrongful aggression, defend themselves. Lasting reward for those who respond to their Lord and observe prayer. Those whose affairs are decided by a mutual consultation and those who go on spending in our cause out of what they have what we have provided for them chapter 42 verse 40 the recompense of an evil done is a, is a punishment equal to it but he who pardons and and thereby improves the matter reforms the offender shall have his reward from Allah Allah does not love the wrongdoers no blame shall lie on those who defend themselves after a wrong is done to them. Chapter 42, verse 42. The blame only lies on those who wrong people and commit aggression in the land without justification. The one who bears and forgives surely to do so is a matter of great fortitude and high resolve. And chapter 6, verse 111. Obeying the majority of those on earth would lead you astray from Allah's way. Majority on earth follow nothing but mere surmise and make conjectures. So I feel more uh, elevated. I feel God's energy more around me after reading those divine laws and commandments. I hope you do as well. 
Um, I hope you take a lot as your shield. I hope you enjoy this video. And let's just keep an eye on the Schumann resonance, see how it's going to uh, pop out for this. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more steadying um, and help raise the vibrations of not only myself, but of all of creation, inshallah. So again, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, may Allah perfect our light, increase us in knowledge. May the divine laws of God be implemented fully on this earth so we can experience uh, a divine paradise on this, on this, wor on this world. Uh, we got a taste of that a couple weeks ago in my video. Uh, the energies are super high. So I hope this continues and we get a taste of the future world to come, inshallah. Thanks for watching. May the peace and blessings of Allah be with you. Thank you.